Hey there, YouTube France Hopper here. It is Saturday, August 20th, and it is time for another Mido in a Box. This month's theme is Kawaii Sticker Collection, or Cute. And honestly, I'm usually not one for stickers, so let's see what we got, because Mido's usually got some interesting stuff anyway. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at what we have in store for volume 26. This did feel like a pretty light box, and since it is supposed to be kind of cute um, sticker themed, I'm expecting it to be a light box. But if I recall correctly, some of the items that were previewed weren't really stickers, so I am very curious to see what we do actually get out of this month's box. So here we have what's in the deluxe kit. Of course, link in the description, or you can scan the QR code on screen. So definitely some stickers there. Here is our standard kit. And yeah, definitely loads of stickers in here. Looks like we do have a clear file though, some stamps and stuff. So very interesting. Let's take a look at what we have. So this I do believe was the standard kit. Here are our extras for the month. Looks like we got a themed sticker for the month. Very cool. And I believe this was the deluxe kit. Or actually is the standard kit. No, I do think this is deluxe. There's so many stickers I can't keep track of which is which, but we'll definitely open it up and uh, give you a definitive answer here in just a sec. So here are our extras for the month. Less chaotic uh, than the last couple of months. Pretty simple this time around. We have one of the build your own pens from Koreitake. One of these days I'll actually go ahead and build one of those and give it a shot. Our ink of the month is from Sailor and the Monyo series. This is the Ayame, which looks like kind of a grayish, I almost want to say green. I don't know. Can't really tell what color that's supposed to be. It's almost like a slate, I guess, is kind of the, the best way to describe it, but very interesting color. Uh, we do have a sticker here where I guess Mido collaborated with an artist uh, called uh, Thousand Skies. So that's a neat little sticker there. That is a very, very shiny sticker. Um, yeah, that's super duper shiny and sparkly. And then we have just a mini little lined notebook. I don't know who this is from, but it's definitely a nice mini notebook. My kanji sucks, and that's just mi ni no to. So, mini note. Right, let's move this aside and see what the standard kit has. Okay, here we have the standard kit, which is pretty incredible this month. This is probably the most loaded I have seen a standard kit in quite some time. First up from Midori, we have a clear file with pockets, loads of pockets, lots of different ways that you can store things in here. Yeah, there's like tons and tons of pockets, so it looks like three or four, you know, depending on how you open that and close it, but definitely enough to uh, fit some stickers in there for sure. And yeah, we have a lot of stickers. First up from Midori, some schedule stickers green, you know, just in time for uh, 2023, which is going to be here before you know it, which is kind of a scary thought. But yeah, there you go. All set for that. Next up from BGM, we have some flake stickers, and I'm pretty sure we saw these, I think, actually last month. This is the uh, post office series again. But uh, they were pretty neat. You know, some nice stamp stickers. Then from uh, Pine Book, we have some more schedule stickers, which are going to be these in all sorts of fun little uh, cat, I guess, emoji, if uh, that's what you want to call them. But definitely some fun bits there. From uh, Frontier, we have some Washi Polar Bear stickers. Washi is like kind of a traditional Japanese paper, so these are pretty cool looking. And they've got some nice texture to them too. I actually kind of like those. 
from Mindwave, Petite Stickers Donut Panda. And those are definitely petite, and you have lots and lots of pandas on there. Like, a lot. So I don't think you're going to run out of those anytime uh, soon. From Worldcraft, some masking tape. That looks like that. I believe this is kind of a little hedgehog pattern it looks like. Yeah, I think we've got a couple hedgehogs going on there. Pretty neat. And then lastly, from Sticky, we have three different sticker sheets. The first one is a whole bunch of snacks, like very traditional Japanese snacks. You have like the Meiji um, strawberry, uh, I think those are actually the Apollo chocolates. We used to get those from Wegmans. They're pretty good. Nice simple chocolate. Got some Ramune, Polky, of course. Lots of fun little bits there. And then I wish oh so much that you could actually use these as stamps because these are cool. These are the mushroom stamps. I don't think these are valid for postage, unfortunately, which is really a shame because, I mean, they do have denominations that technically could kind of qualify, but I'm pretty sure the Postal Service wouldn't accept these, which is a shame because these are like the coolest stamps I've seen in a while. Um, but they're stickers. And then lastly, we have Little Frog to go with our Little Panda. So lots of different little uh, frog scenes going on there. Let me shuffle these aside and we'll uh, take a look at the deluxe kit. But yeah, if you're into stickers, I think Mido has you covered this month very, very easily. All right, and here we have a few more things for the deluxe kit. First up from Seal Doe, we have a Seal Collection notebook. This seems to just be kind of a grid notebook. Looks like it's A6 size, 40 pages, and you should be able to tear the sheets out. So if you just want a notebook for storing stickers in, apparently that's what that's for. From King Jim, we have Kita Clear Syrupy stickers. These are actually kind of cool. There's uh, seven sheets of these three designs, and this actually apparently folds so that you can stick it, you know, in a pocket of a journal fairly easily. So that's some clever design there that uh, I think is smart. It's a nice design, too. Uh, from Bondi, we have a washi roll sticker deep sea fish, which looks like that. So it is kind of like washi tape, and it's just all stickers. That's uh, what you got there. So that's kind of cool. From BGM, we have more of the clear flake seals. This is the Morning Garden Yellow. And there's definitely some uh, very floral uh, stickers in there. Very, very cool. Looks like that's probably all of the designs in there. That's actually rather nice. That would go like really well in, I'd say, spring or so. Uh, and then these last two items actually are not on the product info cards, so I'm not sure if these are extras or uh, what the deal is supposed to be with these, but here we have some more stickers. They're kind of larger size. I like that they're all kind of stationary shaped and such. Uh, looks like there's two sheets, I think, there, 8 by 2 16 stickers or so. Not sure who the maker of these is. Oh, here we go. Furu Kawashiko. Neat. Yeah, um, not sure uh, anymore with these, because, again, they're, they're not on the info cards, but those are some nice large st stickers there. I kind of like the designs on those a lot. And these appear to be from... Uli Itsy Bitsy stickers, very, very summer themed. And I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick up on it too well, but these are kind of 3D. They actually like pop up uh, a bit there. So, yeah, if stickers are your thing, and again, I'm not hugely into stickers, I very rarely use them, but there's definitely some very nice designs in this box. Yeah, I'd say uh, if you need to grow your sticker collection, Mito has you more than covered with this month's box for sure. 
and yes, you can fit just about all of the stickers that were in the standard set in that clear file that came with it. So, there you have it. That is everything in box number 26. If you like stickers and you're going back to school soon, boom, back to school sticker box for sure. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you next month.